Hey guys, welcome back to All About Google Maps series. And in this series, uh, we have covered two videos till now. And in the first video, I have talked about how you can implement a Google Map in Android Studio with all the steps. And in the second video, I have talked about how we can change a Google Map type in Android Studio. Uh, so from hybrid to normal, from normal to terrain, from terrain to satellite with the help of this radio group. So in case uh, if you want to watch this two video, link is in the i button and also in the description box. So save this playlist uh, as this series will have more than 25 videos and it will consist of multiple Google Maps APIs, Google Places APIs and Google Direction APIs. So in this video, uh, we will play around UI settings that Google Map provides. So in the previous video, we played with this uh, is zoom controls enabled set UI setting. And with this, uh, we got this plus minus zoom in zoom out buttons. So there are multiple UI settings that map provides. So what I'll do, I'll cut this and I'll paste it over here. Cool. So now I'll duplicate this and when I type is here, uh, we get multiple UI settings. Cool. So we will see each uh, one by one. So first of all, uh, we will see a uh, zoom related uh, is zoom gestures enabled. So I'll make it false. So by default, uh, this value is true and by the by default is zoom controls enabled is false so we need to make it true in order to get these two buttons and this uh, is zoom gestures enabled uh, this is by default true so we'll make it false and we'll see what will happen so let's just run the app so with this uh, gestures and is zoom gestures enabled false we can't zoom in or zoom out uh, the google map with the help of gestures cool so let's just make it true and let's try to run it again. Cool. So now if I try to zoom in or zoom out with gestures, this will work. Cool. So yeah, let's uh, move on to the another UI setting. So I'll duplicate this again and is so is map toolbar enabled. Uh, we'll talk about this uh, in the upcoming videos when we add a marker on the Google map because this is map toolbar enabled will make sense when we have a marker on our Google map. Cool. So we'll move on to the another uh, is compass enabled. So by default, uh, this is also true. Uh, let's just see if I try to rotate the map, uh, you can see this uh, compass. And if I click on this, our map will get back to its original position. So we can make it false. So if we make it false, we'll not get that uh, compass symbol. So now if I try to rotate, you can see uh, we didn't get that uh, compass symbol over here and we, we can't make our map go to the its ori original position on which it opened. So I'll make it uh, true. Cool. So then again I'll duplicate this and we'll move on to the next setting. So is rotate gestures uh, enable. So again uh, this is how we can uh, rotate this map with the gestures. Cool, and we can make it false. So let's just run the app. So now, uh, if I try to rotate the app, uh, I'm not able to do it because we make this false. Cool, and we can uh, rotate the map with the help of gestures, and we can also rotate the map uh, when we rotate our device. But uh, for that, we need to use sensors, and I'll also cover that video in this series. So yeah, but there is a time because it is a bit advanced. So now uh, we'll move on to the next UI setting. So is rotate gestures enable is done. So now we have is tilt gestures enable. So by default, uh, this is also true. Let me just uh, switch to the hybrid mode and we can tilt the map uh, if we move our two fingers down and up. Cool. So you can see we can tilt the map uh, with the two fingers up and down. Cool. So we can also make it false. So if I make it false, we'll not able to do this. So I'll switch to hybrid mode again. And now I'll try to um, move my two fingers down and up. As you can see, uh, I'm not getting a tilt over here. So I'll make it true. Also make it true. So you just need to play around with these values. So again, I'll duplicate this and is what we have next 
scroll gestures enabled so let's just uh, so by default uh, this will be also true because we can scroll the map and if we make it false uh, we cannot scroll the map so let's just run the app so now if i try to scroll the map uh, this is not working as you can see cool so we'll have it true again so let's just duplicate this and move on to the new setting so is tilt is done or uh, rotate is done is scroll uh, gestures enabled during it rotate or zoom cool let's just uh, run the app and first understand what this means so let's just switch to the hybrid mode and what this means uh, is scroll gestures enabled during rotate or zoom so when i try to uh, zoom in or zoom out and still i can scroll the map that what it means and even if i am rotating the map so let's just try to rotate the map still i can scroll the map so yeah that's what it means and if i make it false i uh, will not able to do this so i'll make it false and i'll run the app so now our application is installed and again i'll switch to the hybrid mode so now if i try to zoom in and zoom out with scroll this will not work or uh, this will only scroll when i'm not zooming in or zooming out or rotating the map cool so that what it means so yeah, I guess uh, we have covered multiple UI settings here. So let's just try. Uh, I guess uh, we have remaining with the is indoor level picker enabled setting. So I'll make it true. So this uh, is indoor level picker enabled. Uh, this is used to check if the indoor level picker is enabled on Google map or not and it is a control that allows user to switch between different floors of the buildings uh, which have indoor map available so i don't know which building have google map available uh, maybe in the upcoming videos uh, we will work on this setting and we'll see how this works so cool that's it for this video uh, in the next video we will see how we can style the google map like uh, uber does and snapchat does or even uh, ola does so we'll see how they style the google map and after that uh, we will work on the locations we will open this google map at our current location and many different videos to come so yeah do subscribe and thank you for watching